everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are turning this old dusty dank kind of gross guitar into a work of art that's right as you can tell from the title and thumbnail i am going to custom paint this guitar here now i've actually owned this this guitar how many times am i going to say this guitar anyways so i've actually owned this guitar for a many 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 number of years now um, I actually kinda left it in a spare room at my mum's house and I've had it like since I was quite young and uh, never really got around to learning it because I don't know I guess my hands just aren't really made for playing music but they are definitely made for uh, making art so yeah now it kind of got left uh, forgotten in a spare room somewhere uh, for a very long time and I came across it recently and I was like, oh my god, I remember this. This is my, my thing that I owned. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, why don't we give this guitar a new lease on life, uh, we'll clean it up, you know, get rid of all the cobwebs and uh, dust all over it and, you know, the probable dead spiders inside of it and we'll give it a new life and a new paint job and create something that I am proud of. So before I can actually start painting this thing, we kind of have to prepare it. You see, it was pretty darn dirty. I had to sort of wipe it down, vacuum it, try and vacuum out the dead spiders and gross things inside of it that has been building up over many years. <laughs> And uh, yeah, after that I had to get some sandpaper, three different types, a rough, medium and a smooth one, and uh, sand off the outer coat of this guitar because it has a very sort of glossy finish and paint's not going to work if you put it over that. So I had to sort of sand all of that off to give it a bit more of a rough finish that I could then go over with some acrylic gesso. So. With this, you sort of have to prime it, and I decided to use acrylic gesso because I'm using acrylic paints for this, and I felt like acrylic gesso was what I had, mostly, but also pretty convenient to use. Now that we've got that all primed nicely and I did uh, do quite a few coats of that and I sanded in between each coat of gesso as well just to sort of keep it smooth and uh, knock off any sort of extra bumps and stuff that I didn't want on the guitar. I drew around and cut out some nice circles with some masking film which is what I was uh, planning to put over the guitar because as you can probably guess, if you know me, I am going to do a little bit of a galaxy theme in this sort of paint job. Uh, it's something that I sort of default to quite often. I just really, really love a galaxy sort of look. I love planets, I love stars, I love like the, the galaxy sort of swirls of all the gases and colours in space. And uh, yeah, so a lot of the time with my galaxy stuff, I have not really uh, concentrated much on planets at all. So I wanted to give it a go and see how I would go uh, painting some planets. So the masking film was down there for me so that I could have a perfect circle and I could sort of mask that off easily before I actually do the background. Now with the background, I am using a few different colors and I'm not actually using black this time for the galaxy. I do that quite often, but I wanted to sort of experiment and see if I could uh, use different colors instead of black, but still push that sort of galaxy feel while having it a little bit more vibrant and a little bit more colored. So in this paint, I'm actually using quite a bit of retardant which is a sort of additive that you use uh, with your acrylics if you want to slow down the drying time. This is really great for me because I can sort of blend out those swirls and the galaxy patterns without having to worry too much about the paint drying too quickly 
and uh, to make it a little bit easier as well I used a few sponge brushes which I bought specifically for this I feel like you can get some nice little textures in there and you can sort of blend and sort of like smear the paint around in different ways that, than you can with paint brushes and yeah after I did that uh, I sort of let it dry a bit and then I peeled off all of that masking film uh, that I had used to mask off the planets now it's time to add a little bit more detail and a little bit more color in here and I started off with some stars. Now I have two different ways that I like to draw stars when I do galaxies. The first is more of a sort of cartoony look where I will draw all the dots individually and I will have some dots like actual crosses and little star shapes. But this time I wanted to try and push slightly towards the more realistic look and I decided to go for a sort of paint splatter technique and that's actually pretty convenient to use for stars and uh, the paint that I actually used for those stars wasn't just white though it was an iridescent white uh, pearl paint and I'm really happy I used that paint because it just gives it a little bit more of a glow and a glisten that is perfect for those stars. Now is the time to colour in those planets and at first I used a bit of a blank coat of a specific colour on each one. There was a green, a teal, a yellow, a pink and a sort of a red colour and I decided to do that because I wanted to fill in all of the colours first and then go over the top afterwards to add the sort of textures and details. So for the back I wanted to do galaxy as well obviously but uh, I did something slightly different because I didn't want it to be just planets I wanted something else a little bit more interesting on the back so yeah I actually went in with that same sort of galaxy uh, swirly technique and uh, after this I went over with another layer and I painted on a, uh, a black hole now I haven't actually drawn or painted black holes before and there's a few different ways you can go about it because uh, there's different uh, sort of photos of and like depictions of black holes on the internet different references so I got a bunch of references that I liked and I uh, showed my boyfriend Jesse and asked which sort of um, black hole would you prefer the sort of more scientific approach or the more sort of illustrative approach and he decided on the one that looks kind of like this. So after this there was just one more thing I had to sort of paint on this guitar as you can see the galaxy is only in specific sections and I did this on purpose because I wanted to have a little bit more of a spin on this guitar a little bit of a twist because I didn't want it to just be a galaxy themed guitar I felt like that was a little bit too typical a little bit too predictable for me so I had this really cool idea that I just had to try and I'm so glad I did it 
it because it just turned out way better than I expected for just a galaxy themed guitar if that makes sense. So here is the final results and I just absolutely love this so much. It turned out way better than I expected and uh, it was definitely a bit of a challenge. It took me way longer than I thought it would take but I'm just so, Im I'm, not, no, I'm just impressed with it and I really like the way that I did uh, the sort of wood texture of the guitar and it's sort of broken and ripped holes in it and then inside you just see this sort of galaxy wonderland sort of feel to it and yeah i just really love it so anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video this was so fun to me and uh yeah i'm i'm sorry that my sort of upload schedule has been a little bit weird lately uh this project took me way longer than expected but i really wanted to sort of spend a lot of time on it and try and push to get it to be the best quality that i could for you guys so anyways, please smash like, uh, comment below what you think of this and maybe I will, uh, you know, give you a little heart and a reply. Actually, I do that to all comments, so definitely. <laughs> and anyways, subscribe to get your scribble fix in the future and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.